Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today we're going to be going through some more stuff that we picked up. We think that this black bag that you guys can't really see is the last of the Nashville bin stuff. I don't think I've pulled any of the St. Louis stuff yet. Right, so we think from this point on we'll be doing the St. Louis stuff and then stuff from um, this past trip. But this bag's been sitting here for a while, and then all of the new bags is actually here, and all the St. Louis is over in the building. But before we get to that, though, I think I'm going to start trying to do, like, one of these at the beginning of every video. So this is a somewhat mystery bag from the Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store in Waterbury, Connecticut. And... The reason, I'm kind of looking it over. The reason why I picked this bag, all of their bags like this are $3.99. And then they had some smaller bags of stuff that were like $1.99 and stuff like that. But immediately, right there, I see a, what does it say, Little Jelly Cat. And, oh, I see a Build-A-Bear Chipmunks plush. And I see a Pillow Pals Thai dog. So based on those three things that I saw that I could figure out, I went ahead and grabbed it. So let's see what else is in the bag. We also learned that there were some red, white, and blue thrift stores in the Pittsburgh area. Like I said in a previous video, we ran out of space, so we didn't even bother going there. But is the do they have bags like this at that red white and blue if you're in that area i don't know i don't know all right so here is the thai pillow pals little dog plush some of these are bread and butter but sometimes they're worth better but this one doesn't even have its tag oh see i like this brand first in maine it's a bear, unfortunately, but um, it's in really nice condition. If this plush had ever been washed, these are the types of plush that um, the tag wears off, all the coloring does. It's probably going to be bread and butter, but I'm going to go ahead and list it. Okay, dokie. A slice of pizza. It says Kid Robot Heidi Kenny. Made with Love by Kid Robot. Don't know. Don't know if I've picked up that brand before. Probably bread and butter. I may just go ahead and keep it. If oh. I fall asleep back here, it's because I'm tired. <laughs> He's tired, y'all. I stayed up a little too late last night because I couldn't. I wasn't tired. Sleepy tired. But we've been to the gym three days in a row now. We did it three days in a row. And I'm hurting. I think my toenails hurt. <laughs> yes, and I met with a, um, what's the word? A trainer today. That's but basically all he did was show me some machines that he thinks I should be using. Um, but he gave me a, a plan. And that's I can't kind of what I needed. I needed somebody to say, okay, when you're working on arms, you know, or upper body, do this. When you're working on, you know, lower body, do this. And then when you want to do core, do this. Um, because, oh, I left on my own the last two days, I hurt terribly, terribly. I think that's the point of when you work out, especially the first few times, you're going to hurt. Yeah, but yeah, it's been misery, you know. I work downstairs, I live upstairs, and just having to go up and down breakfast and bathrooms and lunch and, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. But, it's going to get better, it's going to get better. But, this is another, um, I think I've had something else recently, that Forever Collectibles Sports, not sure, I know that, the Heat, I don't even know what city that's from. Miami. Miami Heat. And Beasley. Unless you're in Missouri, we pronounce that. We have a town there called that, but it's pronounced Miami. Miami. All right, let's see. I want to get to some of the cool stuff, but this ain't it. All right, this is Fluffy Buddy Rhode Island Novelty. 
looks like something that would have gone probably like in a claw machine. I'm just noticing all of this stuff has a fabric softener smell. Like this all came from the same house and it's all been washed. Don't know. Or one thing has just leached onto everything else. I don't like perfumey smelling stuff, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all of this. Our youngest boys had skin. They would get rashes from like dryer sheets and stuff, so we've never yeah. used them. Mm -mm. This is nice. It's got its paper tag. Not seeing a date. 101 Dalmatian. I'm wondering if it, it kind of sort of has a line around it like it would have had one of those um, collars on it. It's got the cloth tag. I don't know. I'm hoping 10 to $15 for it. I'll have to see. I've never seen the paper tags before. All right here is the little, oh, it's an elephant. I thought it was a rabbit, actually. Rattle says little jelly cat. Not sure about value. Uh, you know, I'm hoping 12 to $15, but sometimes these smaller ones have done better for me. All right, let's see what kind of interesting stuff here. Pull out all the bears. Oh, well, I think this is all the bears. All right, I don't know what I'm going to do. Neither one of them are intriguing me. So they may just end up in my donate bag. All right, this is definitely going to a donate bag. It's been dried and everything else. Yeah, I think most of this is. And I've talked about this in the past. When you buy these types of bags, you just have to expect that some of it's going to be good and a lot of it might not be. There's a staple in it. Yeah. Again, this kind of says Plush Parade Toy Factory. I'll look it up just because it's a dog. It's blue, but probably not and probably not. Hmm. All it says is Piggy Mini Tune Ink. Very interesting. Interesting. It kind of looks creepy. Don't know. All right. Oh, here's another uh, Webkins. Not going to deal with it. They just don't do well for me. Oh, this was one of the other things I remember seeing in the bag. It's a American Girl Bitty Baby pair of pants. If I've got any more Bitty Baby stuff, I'll just add this to that lot. I think I do. This is almost kind of like Target. Just a little decoration. I'll probably put it in the donate. Pig was a Roblox thing. Oh, Roblox. Bread and butter. Bread and butter. All right. This is CS International. No clue. It's, it's cute. I'll probably list it, but it's going to be bread and butter. This one is Camino International. Not familiar with that brand, but it's kind of cute, but it'll be bread and butter. We've got a wannabe Squishmallow and a Squishmallow Nikito. I'll look, but probably not going to be listing this. We'll see. Again, if I can get like eight to ten dollars for things, I'll, I'll probably go ahead and list them. Or if I have something else that's small that I can add it to, I will list it. Um, just very dingy. It's going to go in the donate. And then here, the build a bear. Now, I've done well with, I don't remember if it was this one, but with the Hawaiian shirts, I'm going to have to take a lint brush to the felt glasses but otherwise he's in really nice condition you know I'm hoping ten twelve dollars for it so not bad from a $3.99 bag I think I just listed one of these pretty pretty sure you know the nose looked a little different I mean literally I think like this morning I listed it um, so I may just make this a number two and list it that way but it's gunned 
I think his name is Hamlet. I've done very well in the past, but when I listed this last one, I want to say it was only like $15 or $20. You broke into your pretty, pretty sure. I thought you were going to sing some Peggy Sue or something there for a minute. Nope. All right. Walgreens. Oh, it has its little paper tag. But it's purple. Probably going to be bread and butter, but it's purple. All right, I've got a couple of these. Let's see, did I test it? Yes. All right, it's, of course, Snoopy. I'm trying to see if it's, it says 2021. It looks Hallmark, that tag anyway does. It works, hoping like $15, $20. And then here's another one. This one is actually Jimmy, which is the one I really like to find. Let's see. Nope. Not working. Again, I'm hoping like $20, $25. This is intriguing. Also, it's got a hard battery case in it. Not quite sure what he's supposed to do. But look, he's got this still attached. And I figure that's a bonus, right? But Cat in the Hat... Trying to see what the brand is. Nope. Oh, Mattel. Mattel. Again, hoping $15, $20. Now, all of this, if it's from the Nashville bins, they were $1.59 a pound. And then, if it was Missouri, they were $1.89 a pound. So, that just kind of gives you an idea of how much I paid for this stuff. All right, this needs a bath. But it is Mary Meyer. That's a brand I like to pick up. Um, again, I'm hoping like $10 to $12 for it. Oh, and another Mary Meyer. He needs a bath also. And I think he'll fluff up better. But I'm a little concerned about his hands there. Probably going to be bread and butter. Loveys, loveys. You know, I'm not seeing a tag on this one. Don't know. It definitely has like that organic cotton feel. Hopefully Google Lens will help me out. How can you tell if cotton is organic by feeling it? It's just that texture right there. A lot of the plush that I find that says organic looks like that gotta start saying no just got to they just don't sell well for me anymore if I've got a small mic I may go ahead and put it with him I, for some reason I think I might um, otherwise I've just got to quit because they just don't sell well other than the Babylon boo sometimes she does okay and her little stuffed animal no that's Moana stuffed animal ignore that ignore that all right, this is Douglas. I'm hoping I have some other horses that I can put with this. For the most part, these have only been bread and butter for me. But I like picking up Douglas. I think Robert found all of these. Look, there were quite, you found quite a few, didn't you? Several. Several. All right, American Girl. Trying to see what her neck says. Her neck says Pleasant Company, but I know the highly sought after ones have the white cloth body. I don't remember her name. Sage, maybe? I don't remember. I, I'm a mom of six boys. I don't know dolls. She seems to be in really good condition. Just needs a few spots cleaned up. I don't know. I'm hoping at least 25 plus for her. Ikea. Every time I list this, I sell it. I can't even remember. I want to say it's bread and butter, 10 or so dollars, but it sells very quickly for me. Now, I'm trying to think. This is Aurora. I think I have a small pony. I have yet to make a foal and horse lot, and I'm, I'm working towards it, but I want them to look similar. So let me, I'm going to have to go see if I have a, a foal that looks like that. Loved this. 
it says something. Hazel Village? Yeah, Hazel Village. That's ringing a bell, like a bolo, bolo bell, but I don't know for sure. I, I've only found a few things that were hazel. But look how interesting. And again, it looks definitely, yep, see, organic cotton, Robert. Just has that odd look. I'm hoping 15 plus for it. Well, I don't doubt that it's cotton, but how do you know it's organic? As opposed to know. regular old chemical field cotton. Uh, this is dirty. But it is Shining Stars, Russ. I think I've got a few others listed. That's how my brain works. Um, I'm going to end a listing and add it to it. Cole's Cares, I pick up a lot of them. I sell a lot of them, and especially during fourth quarter. Ooh, I got some treasures here. But look at this. Big O Dalmatian plush. It is Animal Adventure 2015. Big floppy. It's going to smooch enough to go into a large priority box. I'm hoping 50 plus for him. 50. Needs a bath, though. All right. This is, it says, Long Fur Rooster, Walmart. I do well with chickens and turkeys and roosters. So anytime I find them, which is not very often, I go ahead and grab them. I'm hoping 15 or so for it. It's like a mammalian chicken with all the fur on it. I know it looks weird. Looks weird. I love this. I'm not sure if any more pieces fell down in there because I could have swore there were more. But this is like that felted wool. And it was this. And then there's a couple of little, I'm guessing, what do you say? Mice? But they got big old ears. Look like rabbits to me. Rabbits? I could have swore there were more, though. But I've done well with just, even just figures that are made out of that felted wool. So, I, let's see, what did it say as far as who made this? Love Very. Love Very. I'm hoping 12 to $15, if not more. All right, so, well, no, one more thing that's not my treasure. But Pua the pig, he's going to probably walk. That's the only thing I'm feeling automated. Uh, the only thing I'm feeling that it seems motorized. The thing to remember when you're buying stuff like this, always check the legs. Do you know how many times I get stuff home and I haven't done that and one of them is broken. So hopefully he works. Probably going to be like 10 to $15. Right, then I got three treasures here. Let's start with this one. This is a Thai Pluffies. He obviously is much smaller than the others. I've done really well with this this particular one. I want to say 30, 40 plus dollars for him. So I'm always thrilled when I find one. I think there's probably another one that has pink also. Don't beanie babies go for that much? No. We haven't gotten a comment on that video lately. No, we haven't. Maybe it's finally ran its course. Yeah, we used to get a comment at, at least once a week, sometimes frequently twice a week, about the collection of Beanie Babies on that video from a couple and years ago. Do I want to buy them? No. Jelly Cat has its original tag. Says, I am a medium bashful cream bunny. For the most part, the bashful bunnies, unless it has some kind of elaborate design or, you know, specific colors in its ears. Most of them have been, you know, 10 to $20 for me. But I'm going to buy them. All right. This is called Sleepyhead Bear. It says 12-inch pink with blanket. I think I've got something similar listed. It may even be this exact one. I'm not remembering the dollar value, but I've known in the past when I've sold the sleepy heads that I've done very well with them. So I'm, I'm hoping, let's say 30 to $50 for him. Still has this little paper tag, which is a good thing. Love it. 
and then this. Doofles. I found this a couple of times in the past. He needs some cleaning. The good thing is he has his shoes. They almost kind of remind me of the shoes that went on um, the My Sister, My Buddy Sister doll. Um, but unfortunately, this one has a crack right there. Now, in the past, I remember selling these upwards of $100, but I checked comps on eBay, and most of them seem to be like $20 to $30, but there is zero yellows. And I even went to Worth Point, there's no yellows. No yellows, so once I get him cleaned up, I may go ahead and list him for around $100 and see what happens, because there's no yellows. All right, y'all, that was a fun bag. I've got probably a half of this bag again. Um, I'll do that in the next video. And then I'm gonna do another one of these semi-mystery bags also. I'm telling you, I probably have at least two dozen, if not 30 of them. So it's gonna be spread out over all of these videos because I enjoy opening them. All right, y'all, get to work. Bye.